So I've been getting a lot of questions about the cost of living out here in Hawaii and how much one needs in order to live comfortably out here on the island. Now, of course, that's all subjective because what one person defines as comfortable may not be the case for others. But I'm gonna do my best in this video to share with you what I've uncovered living here on the island of Oahu with my family of five for about three months now. Now, first and foremost, Hawaii is indeed an expensive place to live. If it doesn't rank as the most expensive state in the United States, it ranks somewhere in the top three alongside of states like California and New York. So how much money does one need in order to live comfortably out here in Hawaii? Well, before making this video, I did a little bit of research and I pulled up an article that stated that a yearly salary of $200,000 a year was the sweet spot to live comfortably out here. And I can say that living here for approximately three months with my family of five, I can kind of understand where they came up with that number as a standard. But again, it's all subjective. It really depends on your lifestyle, your spending habits, whether or not you're single, married, or married with children, and overall, what you value in life and what makes you happy. There are people who live here on a much lower salary than $200,000 a year, as well as people who live here on a much higher salary, much, much higher. So let's talk about housing. So before moving out here, I was on a hunt for a two to three bedroom rental home. And the number that I kept fighting my, finding myself in between was $3,000 to $5,000 a month, for more or less 1,500 square feet of space. Now, these were by no means luxury homes, they're just average homes out here on the island, and that was the ballpark range. With that said, you could find homes a little lower than that, as well as a lot more than that, but it really all depends on what you were looking for. For a one bedroom home out here, you can expect to pay somewhere in between $1,500 at 2K a month, but I've also seen one bedroom apartments out here going for 3K and above. For a studio, you're gonna be somewhere in a ballpark of $1,000 to $1,600 a month. Utility cost out here is more or less the same except for electricity. Hawaii is actually the state with the highest household electricity cost in the US. The average electricity bill out here is $394 in comparison to the national average, which is $146.80. So based on our personal experience, we haven't hit that average in the past three months that we've been here. So you gotta kinda take these numbers lightly just because they are stated to be the average, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's where you're gonna be. Now, if you're raising children out here, schooling can be an additional cost as well. I've mentioned this in one of my other videos that Hawaiian public schools don't have the best reputations. In fact, many people out here put their kids in private schools, which will run you about 25K a year per child. Now, with that said, just like anywhere else, you're gonna have areas out here on the island that are gonna have, you know, quote unquote, better schools. But of course, in order to live in those areas, you'll be on the higher end of that ballpark range that I gave you. So you may be spending a little bit more in housing costs, but you might be saving in the long run by having the option of putting your kids into public schools. Food cost out here is a little bit more for obvious reasons. We are on an island and a lot of what we consume has to be imported, maybe except for pineapple. On average, our little family of five spends about $1,000 a month on grocery costs. Finally, we pay approximately $100 for our insurance on our vehicle here. So let's add up some of these numbers to see what our expenses would be here for a year in Hawaii. Let's keep that number of $200,000 in mind as I go over some of these expenses with you. All right, so three to $5,000 for a two to three bedroom home out here in Hawaii. We're just gonna call it four grand. We're gonna go right in the middle. Uh, that's times that by 12. We are at $48,000 a year. Since the state average for electricity cost a month is about $394, we'll just call it 350. We times that by 12. And we are at $4,200 a year in electricity cost. $1,000 a month for groceries. We times that by 12. We're at $12,000 a year. And let's say you have two cars, $100 a piece on insurance. That puts us at $2,400 a year in auto insurance costs. Now, if we were to stop there, that would put you at about $66,600 in yearly expenses to live out here in Hawaii. But let's say you have a couple of decent cars that you have a monthly payment on. Uh, let's call it $500 a piece, so that's $1,000 a month. That's an additional $12,000. And let's say you have a couple of kids that you're gonna wanna be putting in private school. 25K a piece a year is gonna put you at 50K a year. Now with two car payments and two kids in private schools, that takes your yearly expenses to $128,600, which leaves you with about $71,000 left for the year in beer money, which isn't too bad. So is the yearly salary of $200,000 the sweet spot for living comfortably out here on the island? Um, and maybe so. Um, I have seen people live on here on a much lower salary than that and they make it work. Again, I think it's a matter of looking at your personal situation, what makes you happy, what you value in life. 
um, really taking a look at your own spending habits and doing your research before moving out here, looking at where you want to live on the island because that all changes things, you know, whether you want to be in the middle of the island versus closer to the ocean. And just like anywhere else, you're going to have higher end areas versus more low income areas. So although I'm throwing these numbers at you, you know, there is quite a difference in range depending on where and how you choose to live. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content of this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'd highly appreciate it. And as always, until the next one, guys, this is Cedric and I'm out.